Ron Gielock here, Christ-Centered Business Coach. And do you wanna play big in 2016? Do you just want this year to be the most successful, best year in business to date? Well, if that's you, I want you to stay tuned and watch this video. I have some stories I'm gonna share with you that give you three tips exactly how you can play big and make this one of the best years in business and your life. Stay tuned. To the video uh, I want to just start by saying thank you so much for for being here today uh, and investing your time with me I want to give you some 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 content here that's gonna give you three tips on how you can make 2016 the best year uh, in business and in your life this past year 2015 was absolutely hands down the best year of my life and 2016 it's it's even gonna be better I want you to come along with me as well so Three tips. Number one, I want to encourage you and tell you that where God guides, He provides. So right before I began tw uh, the year of 2015, I began praying and dedicating my business to God and, and kind of humbling myself and taking the approach that God is my CEO and I'm the manager, or the steward of the business that I have and, and what He's entrusted me with. I remember realizing that I needed help to scale my business in 2015 and I, and I was just on that brink of, of leaving my job and I was going to need some support. I was going to need some help. I needed uh, someone to coach and, and mentor me and just point out my blind spots and some of the things that I didn't, didn't know. So where God guides, He provides. So at the beginning of, of 2015, January, I went ahead and I hired a Christ Center business coach and it was the most money that I had. I have spent or invested in myself at, at one time um, hiring a hiring a coach and I was super nervous super um, out of my comfort zone is probably a better way to, to say it I had peace but it was out of my comfort zone about it um, and then I'll tell you about 20 days later I actually recouped my investment started bringing on more clients and expanding my business and his provision came in within 20 days of, uh, of taking that step that action so that's number one. Number two is don't make goals, make decisions. Now here's the difference. A goal for me um, has always been something that's like a pie in the sky, something nice that, that I would be really great for me to hit. But if I don't hit it, uh, it doesn't really affect me too much. There's no repercussions. There's, there's nothing that, that really changes my, my drive or my, my motivation or how I feel. Goal is just something nice. But a decision... A decision is something that's firm, saying, I've drawn this line in the sand, I'm stepping over it, not looking back, not going back, and this is what's going to be happening. So instead, make decisions and uh, choose the decision to get and execute uh, in business and get the marketing training that you need to generate more sales, more clients, leads, commissions, and build your brand online or whatever else it is that you're up to. So your action step here for this tip would be to back up your decisions by taking an action, right? My third tip um, for you to make 2016 the best year in business, best year uh, in life uh, possible is to either join some kind of mastermind or join um, a Christ-centered business coach, uh, something like that, um, that is really going to not only take you out of your, your comfort zone, but, but uh, provide the wisdom and the guidance that you need and have someone be able to, to point out your blind spots. I say that um, also because I found here in the book of Proverbs 15, 22, it says, plans fail for lack of counsel, but with many advisors, they succeed. There are all things in business that we don't know that we don't know yet. And you have a dream, you have a desire, you have a, uh, a goal, hopefully it should be a decision that you want to grow, you want to progress or, or start your business or just start seeing more, more results. Um, but you don't exactly know what that may look like or all the steps to get there. So it's important to have people that have kind of uh, walking through that journey or gone through that part of the jungle to be able to pull, to, to bring you alongside of them and, and point out some of the pitfalls and, and uh, provide some guidance along the way so you can have the best year and experience the best, uh, best results. I also say Christ-centered business coach uh, because it's not like making more money and, and doing well in business is, is great. And that's absolutely the goal. There's nothing wrong with making more money. We, we want to be doing that if we're progressing in business, right? But 
you want to also keep in mind this this verse this verse in Matthew 6:33 that says seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all of these things will be added unto you so it's more important to actually uh, seek God and learn from him. It says, learn from me, take up on my, my yoke. My burden is light. My yoke is my, my yoke is easy. So learn to have a Christ centered business and do business his way. And out of that, that dedication, that, that heart space, if you will, to not only grow closer to him, but get the, the marketing and the business, uh, training, training that you need, your plans are going to succeed. So let me wrap it all home with you together today. Number one, where God guides, he provides. Be in a state of faith and expectation. Say a prayer. Your action step would be say a prayer. Make God your CEO of your business. Dedicate your business to him this year. You trust that where he guides, he's also going to provide for you. Number two, don't make goals anymore. Make decisions. Decisions are are, are just firm. Goals for me have been kind of wimpy uh, choices. So back up your the action step here is back up your decision by taking an action. Number three, uh, look into joining a Christ-centered uh, business a mastermind or, or hire a coach. And I want to also invite you to, to join me with step number three today. If you, you're watching this on my, my website, I want you to click the button below and actually apply uh, to become one of the, the members in our mastermind. Apply to be part of the Christ-centered uh, coaching, uh, coaching for 2016 and learn how to do business God's God's way. Learn more about biblical principles and, and uh, with money. There's over 1,300 uh, verses in the Bible regarding money. There's a lot of lot to gain there. And then also be be in a place uh, be in a place where you can be humble and and choose to to learn more marketing, more sales, more uh, online branding, all the things that you kind of need to just kick butt in 2016. So. Uh, if this is you, if you're somebody who's looking to expand and do business God's way, I want you to click the button below, fill out the application uh, to apply to be part of the Christ Centered Coaching this year, um, and uh, you'll be getting a, a call from me, hopefully. I'm going to tell you with this caveat first that we're not uh, we're not taking everybody. This is an application only uh, pro program, um, so we're looking for just people who are very serious about doing well uh, in their business this year and doing business God's way. If you're if you're not very serious about you know having a mentor, having a coach come alongside of you, please don't apply. It'll just save uh, save yourself some time, save some time for for me and my staff. And uh, and yeah, I'm looking forward to speaking with you. So guys, I hope you got some value here today with my three tips on how to make 2016 a kick kick butt year. If you want to dive deeper with us, go ahead and fill out the application for the Christ Centered Coaching Program for 2016. And I'll see you on the next video, or I'll be on the phone with you. God bless. Have an awesome day.